What's up, YouTube? I've got a replay for you today that I'm going to really enjoy. Uh, it's a game where I think I go 17-0 and zero with Meepo. I didn't really look at it before I loaded it. I just remember that this is an awesome game. So, as usual, with a Meepo pick, rule number one, don't pick Meepo if anyone on their team counters Meepo. So we jump ahead a bit. They end up getting Silencer, Alchemist, Tidehunter, Pugna, and Storm Spirit. As soon as I see that none of them have counters, I pick Meepo. I don't load into the match until 30 seconds in, just in case one of them decides to uh, pick. And you'll see that I've still not loaded, because I want to make sure none of these guys repick, and I can't see whether or not they've gotten into the game yet. So I take my time. I'm going to go with my usual Meepo build. Oh, I guess I need player's perspective here. Come on now. Come on now. Okay. So this is my favorite build. Don't tell nobody, but this one's already oh, shit. In the bag. Okay, well anyway, you, you guys know it. You've seen it before in other videos. Um, not going to waste time doing that. So, I get to the uh, front of the line by myself for a little bit. I'm going to have Ancient Apparition supporting me, and he does a great job all throughout this game. So, Pugna is mid, and for some reason he ends up coming top and Silencer goes mid. Yeah, Pugna comes top to try to get a kill. That's what it is. But I see that he's coming. And I just... Poof! I start whacking him. Because there's nothing these guys can do about it. I had the high ground, so he didn't see me at all. Followed him over here. Couldn't really get him. His friends could have been coming for him. But they've decided to still lane. Um, so it was almost a really easy first blood. I think Ancient Apparition ends up taking first blood. So, for some reason they swap and we got Pugna, and I love this because Pugna might make the mistake, and he does, of using his Decrepify on himself to try to escape attacks. That's the worst thing you can do when you're laning against people with lots of magical damage. So he's low, I think he's gone back to um, Fountain for a little bit, but it turns out that he doesn't. He just hangs out, trying to get experience and hide in the shadows. And look at that, we got a uh, Storm Spirit here. Actually, I don't think I ever see him. I think uh, this falls out really nicely, and we never see Storm Spirit. I'm just told Gibby, hey, get back, man. I even draw on the minimap. Go in the woods or something. I'm only level 2. I'm saving my second point so that I can get double poof and divided we stand at level 3, instead of net poof and divided we stand, or geo strike poof. Chase him off a little bit. I anticipate that Tide Hunter um, and his gush, so I turned around a little faster than you'd expect. I get these two guys. I send my weaker Meepo back to base while I keep racking up levels with my second Meepo, my Meepo clone. And I'm feeling like these guys are going to try to jump us. And you'll see, as soon as this lane is farmed... I'm anticipating aggression, and the great thing is, is I've got 644 health. That's actually almost as much as Pudge, and certainly more than Pugna. So, they try to go on us, I think. I don't think I start this one. But I've got my second Meepo there. Da 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 da. Who got first blood? Oh. Apparently Storm Spirit got first blood. They've eaten, put mid has killed each other once. Okay, now I see LeBron James back there, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to cancel this clarity. I know the Tidehunter's coming, I get back. It's all about positioning in the early game with Meepo. You can't be out-positioned. I check the stairs again just in case someone is coming up for a gank. I've got my double poof, so it really hurt them. Bring my Meepo back in, because I know these guys are trying to come around and flank us. He's been hanging around here too much, and he's not in lane. 
I see that go off. And this is great. He decrefifies himself. And we get a double kill right off the bat. Now Gibby got both of those for some reason. He apologizes for it, and I'm like, hey, man, early kill is an early kill. But it keeps getting better. So, um, that last situation, that's the mark of... Uh, I know that I'm not a great player, and I know that that was not me being good there. I took advantage of an opportunity, which is nice. But really, that was just this Tide and this Pugna really being out of position and thinking they could take us on early on when they couldn't, especially when he's decrepifying himself. And you see me start on them, but you need to be conservative with Meepo. You get one kill, and if, if you just let that sit for a while, farm some more, they lower their guard, and you come right back at them with another Meepo. Poof. Yeah, just because you've taken an advantage, there's no reason to press it necessarily. Come over here and kill these guys, because... Anticipate not getting too much gold in the lane. And I've got... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to watch this one. Okay. So, I'm hiding in these bushes. Raiden even has a, a, a freaking ward there. How does this happen? They can see me. They can see that I'm there. I didn't... I was like, they haven't been warding. And... We try to do the hokey pokey here. Tide tries to do that fancy thing where he runs here, then runs back, then runs and runs until he catches you off guard and finally picks one. Uh, doesn't work because even if I were alone, I'd just send one Meepo here and one Meepo here. Send my uh, Meepo back for heals. Send or keep Meepo Prime on the field. In there. Okay, so I decide I'm going to poof back to base. Here's a great thing. If you've got a uh, Meepo at base, you can poof here, buy a scroll, poof, TP, TP, then poof right back, and you're back in the game in less than 15 seconds. You don't lose very much at all. I told AA to go bottom uh, because they were having a problem down there, and I knew I could handle myself up here. And it turns out, really turning the tide, we end up winning both lanes. And as of right now, I have two kills. Now I've got three, and zero deaths. And that's pretty much how the rest of this game goes. It's not that I'm good, it's that this Pugna just keeps thinking that he and Tide can take me if they work together. And then for the rest of this match, Tide solos off against me, I think, until the team fighting phase really begins. Yep. I kill him again. Oh, something that's really important to learn about a Meepo. You're always out of position when you're on the creep line. Always. Because that net has huge range. Anywhere in that green circle, I can throw that net. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It's too easy. You're out of position when you're within... What, what is the range on this thing? <laughs> 1,250 range of a Meepo. It's really unfair. But I don't mind. I really... I, Meepo has a hard job, as it is. Not all games go this well. So now I think I'm 5 or 6 and 0. Can you get that, babe? Hey guys! Oh, that's my brother-in-law, Drew. Say hello, YouTube. Alright. So, we're gonna scooch on down to bottom because I see that they need some help still. Gonna... Net us another Pugna kill. Once I've got him in this net, I don't even use my poof because it'd be a waste of time. He's got such low health and I've already got such high damage. Not even a, it's not worth the magic. 
and I cut off lane, because I know I can take this guy right now. I've been fed so well, I just throw a net at him and he's done. And I don't think I actually get him. Oh, I do! Awesome! And I'm like, I'm not done, because no one's really been nuking one Meepo down. He silences us all, doesn't do him any good. And this is where Mipo really shines. This is mid-game. I got a bunch of early kills. Um, <laughs> I don't even have a lot on my Mipo clones, just the power treads. But that puts each of them at 1,000 HP. It's 15 minutes. I mean, usually I get these by s around 6 minutes, and I definitely did this game. They're really hard to take down. And they, they just do too much damage to early game heroes. So I'm gonna go top and push that because I want the tower, and it's not even a contest. We take it. They're like, we're not gonna mess with this Meepo. 702. I end up pushing, get a little scared. Not because I don't think I can take him, but I haven't really had a lot of matches against the Storm Spirit yet that the Storm Spirit played a huge role in against my Meepo. So I don't really know a whole lot, so I'm going to be cautious. This, uh, silencer's a little salty. Either that or super eager. These three guys could have easily, easily killed me. Watch this again. It's just one, now it's two. Watch the minimap more closely for the positioning. We've, they've got good numbers here, as long as they don't cross the river, and I'm way out of position. Like, I try to net him. If they'd gone any sooner, if he, instead of running, had gone on me, these guys would have been in prime possession to kill me. I mean, there are four of them. Five, five, they're all five here. And, unfortunately, I realized that and poofed out of there instead of just running. Panic poofs. They happen to my dog sometimes. If I had a dog. Alright. So I'm sending one Meepo back to base. It's Meepo Prime, and I think it's because I bought something. Or I intend to. Yeah, I'm gonna get myself a bracer for the extra HP. I mean, when a Meepo has 1,500 HP at 17 minutes, the, the other team is in for a burden. I decide I'm going to take bottom, and I think I pretty much... Oh, no, wait, I bailed. Said no. I saw him coming into jungle. Didn't want to deal with it. Thought they might all be coming for me. And they were all certainly watching mid. They could have easily rotated. He gets off his ult, they kill AA. That's not great for us. And the Meepo comes in, and once the Meepo's in this fight, it's over. Because I keep everyone that I need to still. And it just Now that was two things happening at once. That was not me being awesome. That was me coming in at the end of a fight where we'd already taken lots of damage. I mean, look at these guys. I just came in at the end. And we even lost AA. I was just able to mop up because they're also putting out the damage. Now I send this Meepo away. I'm just going to send him all the way to base. And in fact, I should probably get back right now. But I'm looking for kills. I decided he's not worth it. We're on their side. I got one Meepo that's kind of low. And noticing that Meepo that's low, I think sends me back towards base. But I see the illusion rune. I want it. But this guy goes, Meepo no, Meepo no, please, please. So I let him have it. Try to kill this guy. I'm not too concerned about catching him. But then he starts doing lots of damage to me and I've got no choice. I can't run at that point. If I had turned around at all, he just killed me. And I send all of my Meepos back. Now, I didn't need to, but I was going to head back there anyway. I mean, I want to choose a different lane, I don't want to rotate, I'm already ha 
here healing with other meepos, I might as well rotate into a new lane with full health. Alright. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. We decide to push mid, but not without Meepo. And I've got Vlad's, no I don't, so I don't do Roche. Because Vlad's makes Roche super easy as Meepo. Now, oh, oh, you guys are going to love this. Okay, so I pop out of Vlad's and I come straight here. And I'm waiting, and the reason I'm waiting is I know these guys are hanging out here, but then they decide to push bottom, and I know, I just know there are going to be a couple of heroes mid that want to come help when they go to attack Alk, and, and Shadow Shaman's like, Meppo, come help us, help us kill, and I'm like, you guys don't need me, you're going to kill him, you're both going to nuke the crap out of him, and they do, and when they do, these guys are like, shit, shit, we got to go defend that lane, let's go the quickest way we know, and... It wasn't even a contest. High ground poof. They had no wards. It wasn't... It was a no-brainer. That's how it was going to happen no matter how you spend it. As soon as they hit this area, they were dead. Radiance middle tower is under attack. We push on this. Take the tower. And one thing I've noticed that Meepo is not really great at doing is pushing up this last slope here. And I think I'm going to die. No, wait, no, no, I remember I goes um, zero deaths in this match. So I don't. I make it. But I get pretty close sometimes. I decide, okay, you know what? Let's go this way. Do I have lads yet? I don't, but I'm about to. And I know I am. So, I just want to call that courier to me and do Roche. Unfortunately, Shadow Shaman is using the courier and I don't feel like interrupting him. I don't want to be a douche carry. So I heal up first. <coughs> Bless me, YouTube. Come back down, I'm like, I got my Vlads, we can Roche. We snag a kill. It's a really bad one. I mean, like, look at this. We're going to go back to how this evolves. Okay, so this guy is just looking for someone in the jungle or something. Maybe looking to take an easy kill. He steals the double... Please tell me he, he gets that. Yeah, he gets the double damage. And he starts killing this guy. Now, one-on-one, -on -one, he might have done it. But Pudge is already fed. Actually, I thought it was really stupid, but no, he, he hadn't a claim there, I guess, if you want to call it that. He could have killed Pudge if he'd just been a little quicker or avoided that hook. After that I decide, okay, gonna take my Roche. Takes me, I don't know, about 20 seconds. I pick it up, and sometimes you'll see me send my Meepo Prime back to base, and I'll do a push without him. That way if the other team really has an advantage, I don't have to worry about losing golden experience to them. Well, giving them golden experience and, and dying. Um, this is not the case in this match. I'm feeling really, really confident. I'm about to get a godlike ultra. We guard this bank, we guard this bank. Okay, so... We decide to push here. AA giving me that extra frost damage is just wonderful. My Meepos multiply that effect so much. Okay, so I see my teammates in need here. I try to help him, but he gets Yulsed. I just right click from here on out. Well, I, I guess I net too. Now they're gonna kill me here, but not before I think I get off a of poof. Nope, don't get off a of poof, but I tried. And here I am, and I know that I can kill Alk with just right click. Now he can teleport out of my net. And they're doing a really good job of trying to bait me. And it's tempting because 
I just got a godlike ultra kill. And I noticed this Meepo is not doing well, so I send them all back in panic. A good player would have just sent him. Maybe, depending on the situation. Sometimes you don't want to call attention to the weak one. And I just keep wrecking with my other Meepos. Skip ahead 10 seconds. Skip ahead 10 seconds. They pretty much, they, they can't contest us. I get my E-Blade. That's for damage, that's for attack speed, that's for a wicked awesome cast against an enemy that does lots of burst damage before I even hit my poof. I end up going back to base, because honestly I want to heal up. We get the fast finish call. They say commend Meepo. I go on a rant about how you shouldn't commend people for uh, playing well. You should commend them for being a leader, being friendly, being forgiving, or whatever that other one is. There, I was unless I was friendly, leadership material, teaching, or forgiving. Do not commend me. And Gibby says leadership. I'm like, whatever, man. You you take it. You do what you need to. Get a haste. No, I think I leave it. Yeah, because I don't need it. Jungle a bit. Boring stuff, boring stuff. I'm watching the minimap. And finally, we push mid. And of course, at this point, it's already decided. If we look at what I've got on my Meepo, I get the Shadow Amulet for posterity. Just in case. Just in case someone decides to pu uh, push a lane. I wanted to show you guys the amulet uh, thing that I do for a while, but I haven't been able to. I toss a net while I'm taking these out, because just because you're killing villains doesn't mean that you can't, you know, help in team fights. And at the end of the game, it's 17-0-4. It's a wonderful thing. One more time, I'm gonna say it. This wasn't a good Meepo game. This, this was a fun Meepo game, but more than anything, it was one team playing extremely badly. I mean, these guys went 0 10 0 5. There's just no excuse for that. And that all went straight to me. Most of it. Anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, YouTube. What do you like about Meepo? What do you not like about Meepo? Tell me in the comments.